Good morning and welcome to this morning's devotion. It is Wednesday, December 23rd, and uh, I hope you can hear me today. I'm sorry about yesterday. I don't know what happened, uh, but there was no sound both times I tried it. Today is, is uh, I'm reading from Christ in Our Home. This one's called Walking in Trust. It's taken from Romans 10, 5 through 13. I rem- remember my college religion professor, simp- re- I remember my college religion professor's simple formula for faith. Knowledge plus assent plus trust equals faith. This teaching and his own life of faith were formative in my faith development. Later in life, I watched as Lutheran Outdoor Ministry participants use the camp's obstacle course. First, each person was given knowledge about the course regulations, guidelines, cautions, risks, safety measures. Uh, Then they took part in a ground level exercise called a trust walk. The participant walks blindfolded along a path guided by teammates' voices. At a given time, person is directed to fall backward, trusting the team to be there, arms waiting to prevent disaster. The key to faith is not in mere knowledge of the law or of God, but in trust that God intends life for us. Like the trust walkers who knew they would fall into waiting arms because they had been guided safely on the path, we trust now because God's trustworthiness has been shown to us before through Jesus our Lord trust walk. I had some actual thoughts from bef- uh, yesterday too. I mean, trust is, is something we, we, we learn, we build on. You know, as, as babies, as children, how do, we, how do we know who to trust? I mean, is that something that is just inborn in us to trust? Or is it something that has to be shown to us and developed? How, how do we trust in God except for seeing God fearing or God faithful people acting their faith and you know and we see that God is active and and faithful in their lives and they trust in God so maybe that's not a bad idea Um, trust I I remember uh, doing my clinical pastoral education uh, with seven other participants two I knew from seminary uh, one fairly well but the other five or so I didn't know very well at all. I didn't never met him. Um, the issue I had was um, we got together as a group and we were expected to instantly trust and just lay out our feelings, lay out who we were, um, say it like it was, you know, be open and honest right away. And I thought that kind of, I mean, that takes time for trust. And for some people, it takes longer to trust. Um, so some who have who've been to counseling and you get a counselor a therapist and it's going to take a while for the trust i mean some people are are more naturally trusting than others um but it takes a while and i think um part of his what he's saying is right i mean it takes knowledge and assent you to agree to it and then uh, all these things leading to faith or increasing your faith a bit um but trust yeah Trust is a big part of it. Um, one of the um, one of my seminary professors mentioned faith and trust. He equiv- equival- equated faith with trust. Uh, we trust in God. We trust that God will keep God's promises. Uh, he said when he was uh, old, when he was had younger children, he could hear the, his younger son wanting to play ping pong with him. Dad, let's play ping pong. His dad said, I'll be down in a minute, and he could hear his son practicing, practicing, um, trusting that his dad would come down and play with him. Um, they had faith that dad would stick to dad's word and come down and play ping pong. He said it was kind of the same thing. Um, but for us, you know, building, building that faith, building that trust, I mean, it takes time. And sometimes it, we've got to rebuild after trust has been broken. And it does. Uh, people will fail us sometimes, and it, it, it happens to all of us and by all of us at some point, but to rebuild trust again, and it takes time. Uh, so our faith journey as we get older, we, we learn to, we learn hopefully through experiences uh, that we've gone through and that we know that God is with us and, and helping us along the way and providing guidance um, that our trust builds, that our faith builds too. 
you know and there's there's things that we do and we we read other people's stories you know whether it's scriptural you know the first peoples uh, in the faith uh, what their journeys were like what their questions and experiences were like how they trusted how they had faith above all i mean abraham was going to sacrifice his one and only son that he got when he was 100 years old um you know it takes a lot of trust it takes a lot of faith but um for us yeah sometimes it's more slow going but uh, hopefully uh, continues um, so we, we think about that as we go through our days uh, let us pray gracious God we, we, we thank you for uh, giving us all that you give us that uh, you give us compassion you give us um, trust you give us faith and help us to continue uh, building that trust and building that faith in us in you especially and in other people um, help us to be trustworthy people uh, as you are trustworthy for us uh, in your name we pray amen so tomorrow night christmas eve online christmas day online on uh, regular time seven and ten i'm sure she'll virginia will have the video up before then um, and remember the 31st for our new year's eve uh, meditation and quiet time at church um, with communion so look to see you there um, and uh, have a blessed day and we'll see you tomorrow